Greetings, everybody. Yet again, it's Lily Woolly. And I'm hoping everyone's okay. So, I read an article today that concerned me. As in, it inspired a good deal of concern in me. Let's put it that way. Um, no, in this case, it's not directly about Trump or Mike Pence. Um, even though some people feel that his uh, that his election thus far may have helped uh, inspire enhanced behavior of this sort amongst multiple people. However, in this case, this was at Lehigh House High School, South Lehigh High School in South Valley. Um, apparently, certain students were calling their dark skinned um, African descended classmates cotton picker. And some were also saying Heil Hitler. Uh, and uh, this is behavior that was not noted until very recently amongst the amongst any of the student populace. And I wanted to address those students. You can consider this an open letter. Dears, I'm in the Pacific Northwest. I'm the child of an immigrant who was lucky to be even, to be relatively safe while surviving World War II in a refugee camp. Many people were not that lucky. And many people's grandparents, aunts, uncles, in some cases even their dads and moms were not that lucky. And six million, which may be an underestimate, died. as a result of what Hitler and his crew espoused and helped encourage. The attitudes towards those people that they gassed and in many cases tortured before gassing were not new. with the technology available to them at that time, what they carried out was beyond cruel to many and not just Jewish people. You, it, any of you at your school who were Catholic would have come at minimum under their scrutiny and quite likely found yourselves in the chain in the gas chambers right along with those who were Jewish if you were gay transgendered gypsy This is a handful of the people who were rounded up. 
and of course Jewish. And by the way, you did not have to be a practicing Jew to be rounded up. If you had one Jewish ancestor, you were rounded up. <sighs> when you say Heil Hitler, what you are doing is doing is saying something that comes close to approaching a sort of prayer that says Hitler was right to round up millions of people in carts that were used for transporting cattle. by the dozens, fitting dozens of them into crowded little carts that were made for transporting pigs, sheep, and cows to the camps they went to. While everybody was starving in Europe at that time, because this was just after, at this was just at the tail of the Great Depression that hit everybody, every single fucking buddy hard. Anything that was hurting. That was hurting all of Europe and much of the world at that time. The, inter the people who were in the internment camps were made to feel much more. It was rubbed in their faces as much as possible in many cases. If there was hunger, The wards made certain that the prisoners felt the hunger emotionally was rubbed in their faces. Hitler, what Hitler did was encourage good, obedient people. To train themselves to be as tough, obedient, and rigid as possible times ten so that they could better disregard the fact that they were rounding up wound up the millions of people of multiple backgrounds. Not just Jewish background. And being okay with the fact that they were starving, that they were crawling with fleas, that they were sick, that they were frail, and being okay with the fact that they were gassed because of their background. When you say Heil Hitler, you're saying you agree with this. When you say Heil Hitler, you're saying he was right. Is that what you really want? If you said no, I didn't think so. If you said yes, for any reason, get help, please. I highly doubt that any of you kids are at your core bad people. The face you're looking at is the face of a 37 year old. 
when I was your age, I wouldn't have been able to feel this much pain for the things I'm talking about right now. I had a tumor in my emotional hemisphere that helped together with anticonvulsants I was on at the time, plus things in my life to keep me numb. I would have been able to tell you this without a single trace of pain in my voice. And give you all the logical reasons. Why this was a bad thing. I would have to work hard now to do the same thing. <laughs> and now for part two. <laughs> when you call somebody cotton nigger because of their skin color, Not only are you being mean, but you're being both in your belief that all the, shall we say, forcefully emigrated Africans who served as slaves on this continent were field hands and that is historically inaccurate the people who were the field hands did the most backbreaking tiring Sweaty labor for less wages. Ultimately, <clears throat> then many sweatshop laborers today. And I say that partly because they did not legally belong to themselves, and many of the sweatshop laborers do. At the end of the day, many people who work in sweatshops in this day and age go home to their own families and are legally their own person. That was not true of the African American slaves who served under your ancestors. as in many as their forced helpers on top of this <clears throat> you may or may not realize that not only were their house slaves. But to be a house slave amongst those who were was a coveted position. They were, <clears throat> generally speaking, safer than the field hands and often better treated. And if a 
house servant misbehaved. They could be demoted and punished by being demoted to field hand. Which you're telling people in in the historical energy attached to what you're saying. You call them cotton picker. Is that they are less deserving of the right to themselves to be their own person legally and that they are less deserving of being treated well of being healthy and less deserving of fair wages than a sweatshop laborer today. Do you really want to send that message? I don't think so. And again, if you do, get help. Because I guarantee that those are your classmates who have African ancestry are not all so bad that they deserve that from you. And I doubt any of them are. Please. Be as nice as you can. And if you feel like you can't be nice, shut up. <sighs> you don't know me from Adam, Eve, or their evil twins. That's true. And you might wonder why not be a sleep hailed person from the Pacific Northwest give us a flip about what you're doing. And I have a few answers for you. One of them is without going into a lot of personal details. I know people who've been through things that touch on more than one thing I covered. in this video, in this address to you. Num number two. It took me until I was 22 and a half to have a brain that cares. Literally. And now that I care, now that I feel the caring, or can feel the caring that it took me years to be able to show halfway decent success to people in a way 
that help them feel understood. As far as I can tell. You cared about. I'm not going with <clears throat> with some of my background some of me and sister's background and some however meager or much it might be of the historical research I have done and whatever info I do have however meager it might be I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna let myself read about some of what I read about you saying to your classmates and shut up. I did my best in this video for to be as gentle and polite as I could while being as forceful or appropriate as I could. I care about you, and I care about your classmate. I probably wouldn't be able to be majorly close to a lot of you, but I do care. And it took me a long time to get here. Please. Be as gentle as you can with your classmates. If you can't be gentle, at least be polite. If you can't be polite, stay away from them. And if you really believe, if you really believe those attitudes that your words carried, get help you're cared about, blessings, whomever you supported, and you're in the rings in this election, blessings, you're purred, tomorrow, we'll live on.